Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com and we are talking about dating success for men. The topic for this video is what about awkward moments of silence? Imagine that you are at a first date with this girl, right? And uh, after a while you have been chatting for a while and then suddenly you have this moment of silence where you don't know what to say anymore. She seems to be a bit uncomfortable as well. And we will check a couple of strategies to handle this specific situation. The first thing to do is uh, to, figure, to be comfortable with this moment of silence. You must not lose your cool or your confidence. Simply keep on doing what you are doing. If you are eating, if you are maybe listening to the music, a concert or watching a game, whatever you are doing, just be comfortable with it. There is nothing wrong with the moment of silence, okay? It's not going to destroy your date. It's not going to create something strange between the two of you. Just be comfortable with it and accept it for maybe a minute or two, okay? That's very simple. The second thing that you can do is start using your body language a bit more. You can smile, look at her, and uh, a bit more intensely, a bit deeper, a bit more profound, and just let her see that you are admiring her, you know, checking her looks and um, enjoying the, her presence. So this is another way of, of um, you know, letting this moment of silence just become something a bit more subtle, a bit more refined, a bit more... Um, yeah, enjoyable between the two of you. You can also use your body language to tease her, right? You can wink to her, uh, do some, you know, something, push her a little bit to the side. If you are walking, for instance, together, you can, uh, you know, tease her, uh, tickle her, these kind of things. I mean, you have to be, of course, spontaneous on the moment, but, you know, playing with your body language can, again, offer a whole new avenue of possibilities. You don't have to talk, actually, to fill in the silence. You can, you know, do other things which are going to uh, to bring in um, a new element. Another thing that you can do, of course, if you are at the first date, you just take off, go to the bathroom, uh, take a break, or if you are, uh, you know, in a club or a, a cafe, you can go and grab some food or um, simply uh, go outside for a minute, just get some fresh air and come back. Just give each other a break. Of course, don't let her see that you are just, <laughs> you know, walking, walking out. But, um, you know, just uh, taking a break when you are together is okay, really. You can uh, let her breathe during this time, take a, take a deep breath and, and see what she wants to do with the rest of the date as well. She might be thinking, you know, this is a nice guy. It will give her a, a moment maybe to send a text message to one of her friends or something like that. So this is fine. This is all fine. And another thing that you can do is, of course, just simply wait a minute, uh, you know, be comfortable with this moment of silence and then think of uh, an open-ended question that you can ask her. It's easier most of the times if you have a few ideas in mind before you go to a first date actually. When you are in this very moment of silence, sometimes you will feel a little bit tense, a little bit uncomfortable and you can't think of something new to say. So it's very, uh, it's a very good idea to before the day just, you know, write down a couple of ideas or a couple of teasing lines that you can uh, tell her or something like that so that you are prepared for when this happens. So remember this, it's very simple. Be comfortable, keep your cool, really stay confident with this moment of silence and uh, everything will go on smoothly. Okay, you take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.